So what we're doing today in the video is explaining the difference between an MPPT um, and a PWM solar charge controller. So I've got two 20 amp um, controllers and they are charging two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries which are the exact same voltage. Um, they're both using the exact same 285 watt or 60 cell panels. To explain it briefly, uh, a PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation, MPPT is Maximum Power Point Tracking. A PWM in essence uh, is, the, is the cheaper, simpler version of a MPPT and basically it doesn't utilise um, or potentially doesn't utilise the full amount of power that the solar panel puts out and we'll explain that and show in this demonstration. MPPT on the other hand, um, the more advanced version, you can see they're a lot bigger. It will draw the maximum amount of power from the panel um, and the, the tracking, which is an algorithm that uh, is constantly running, checking the volts and, and amps coming out of the panel to try and find it's uh, the optimal combination of both that will pull the most power out of the panel given the situation. An MPPT will track that and change as it goes. So we're just gonna check what the uh, open circuit voltage is 34.5 volts. Okay, right, so um, we've tracked, we've got both of them on, they've had a minute or two to settle. Battery's charging at 13.1 volts, 3.4 amps. So we'll come across, it'll tell us the power, sorry. At a, it's putting 45.4 watts, 1.6 amps, so at 29 volt. This should be doing something very similar current-wise, 1.8. So almost identical current coming out. However, you'll see that the solar panel PV is 13 volts. This solar panel PV is 29. 28.8 volts and that is the difference between the two so an MPPT is able to take the higher voltage and push it down and increases the amps out so that times that will equal what's coming in that times that um, whereas a PWM on the other hand all it can do is draw the panel's voltage down to what it needs to charge the battery at. So it's charging the battery at 13 volts. When it's at 13 volts, it's getting a maximum of two amp. So you'll see that the battery is at 12.9. It's basically the same, 13 and 2.1 amps. So it cannot uh, increase the amps. It can only draw what the panel is putting out. So this is something I prepared earlier here. The numbers don't align to what we just saw, but this is earlier I did it. So we had solar coming in at 30 volts and 1.5 amp, equaling 45 watts. So the controller is able to um, step the voltage down to 12.9. Uh, that's what the battery needed to charge. At the same time, it boosted the amps up to 3.5 to make up for that lost voltage, giving us 45 watts. So like we're saying, the MPPT, it can pretty much pull the maximum amount of power out of the panel and put it all towards charging the battery. Whereas PWM, it will draw the voltage of the panel down to 12.9. The amps stay the same, but they cannot, uh, it cannot push them, push them up. So 20 watts come in, down to the battery, 20 watts goes out, uh, which is more than half of what the MPP can do in these conditions and with this size of panel. Right, so that's not all she wrote. In, I've done this another scenario where we've got a 12 volt solar panel. So 12 volt solar panels are gonna have a lot lower VOC and VMP compared to a 36 um, volt standard residential panel. Um, so I've shown here, we've got 16 volts coming in, working volts, 3.5 amp, giving us 56 watt. Solar out, it'll push that down to 13 and increase that to 4.3, giving us 56. If you have a look at a PWM, um, we've got 13 volts coming in, it hasn't changed, and that 3.5 amp giving us 45.5 watts in and out. So it's 90% less. So it's a much closer gap <clears throat> than um, the larger panels. But I also must stress that in middle of summer, say you've got your panel out, the hotter the panel gets, this voltage will reduce. So 
which brings that down even further, uh, meaning that the MPPT can is, is getting less and less out of the panel. Um, so yeah, that's that's sort of the main differences between the two.